Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to link Salesforce with Outlook. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Outlook, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Linking Salesforce with Outlook offers a range of benefits, especially for sales teams and customer facing roles. All right, because number one, it will allow you to sync emails, contacts, and calendars between the two platforms, making it easier to manage communications directly within your Outlook while having data synced to Salesforce. Once you are logged into your account, I want you to hover to the upper right corner where you can see the gear icon and I want you to click on the setup. Now, in the setup interface, go to the quick find navigation and type in Outlook integration. You see that there's going to be an option that says Outlook integration and sync. Now, when you do that, as you can see, you can get data from Microsoft email contacts and events into Salesforce. Now, reps can view and search relevant Salesforce records from their Outlook inboxes and relate important email to Salesforce using the Outlook integration. All I'm going to do is make sure that this toggle is switched on so you can let users access Salesforce records from Outlook. After you enable these features, users need to get to the Salesforce app from the Microsoft app source or by file download. All right, so we'll do that later. But another thing that we should look at is going in this section. You see, you can log in messages to Salesforce while composing. You want to make sure that this is switch on. You can activate and notify reps because later when we set this up, all these settings will be implemented as well. All right. You see that? Want to make sure that's correct. Hover back again here. And then there's an option here that says who can use inbox. All right. You can assign a permission set to sales rep to give them access to inbox uh, features. If you want to assign permission sets for the roles that you wanted, you can do that. All right. And you can view these pages as well. All right. After that, hover down below. You want to make sure that this is uh, turned on as well. Because doing so, you will have the email application panes. You can select components to include in the email application pane. You can create a separate pane for any users you manage to include productivity features. So if you haven't done so, you have two options here. You have the base and with the inbox features. But the thing is, it requires a license. Let's go for the base. This is going to be the default pane when you allow users some access to the integration of outlook and salesforce all right so you have all these email templates log email or event people accounts opportunities and cases okay so for example this is going to be that description click on save now, all you have to do is activate this page to make it visible to your users. This will be implemented once we have integrated both platforms. Click on next. Click on activate and that's that. All right. So let's hover again to the option. Now, after creating uh, an application pane, you might want to make sure that you can you need to set the default pane or set pane assignments. You can choose any profiles here, for example, um, a, a standard user. I want you to click on next. And this is going to be the email application pane default that we have created a few seconds ago. All right. Click on assign and th that's that. If you wanted to have an email application publisher layouts, you can do so as well. You see that? And on the bottom, make sure that this option is checked because this is very important to allow access from any domain in the Salesforce managed list. 
Outlook.com, Office365.com, and Office.com. Allow access for your own trusted domains. Once you have done that, the next option is click the Microsoft App Source. This would lead you to another page wherein all you have to do is click the Get It Now button. Of course, you need to log into your Microsoft App Source. I'm going to click that and I would be forwarded in this section. You have to put in all of the information first. Job title is going to be content creator. And from the country, I'm going to select this and click on get it now. It would be forwarded here. Now, after the installation, you should be able to see the Salesforce panel in your Outlook email view. All right. If you want, you can try to open an email in Outlook. Click on the Salesforce add in in the right panel. All right. And of course, when prompted, you need to sign into your Salesforce account. And then once you log in, you can now view, create, or edit Salesforce records directly from the Outlook panel. Normally, you should be able to see it this uh, in this instance. In my case, probably there was an error during the setup, or there could be a bug, or like uh, like the system is down. And to make sure that if you encounter the same error like like mine, because I can't find the uh, the Salesforce. I've done this multiple times. I don't know what happened, but if in this case, the next thing that you should do is hover back again to your Salesforce account. I want you to click the Salesforce help. In this case, we need to report this problem. Click on confirm on the Salesforce support. You would be forwarded to the uh, form where we could create a case and we should let the uh, sales support Known that we are encountering a problem linking our Salesforce account with Outlook. When we create a case and submitted the uh, email, they would give you a troubleshooting step and guidance as a response on how to potentially fix the uh, problem. But normally it's really easy. Right? Click this button. You see that? Outlook integration error inside panel. Read more. So basically, they already have an idea what, what's 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 happening. Type in the subject, and if you have like a screenshot, that would be a, a great help so that they could easily diagnose what's happening with your uh, computer or with your account. Click on the create, pick a case, and then submit it. Otherwise, you also have an option to click this. You see that? So basically, it's on their side, but. But normally, they would be able to uh, integrate that without any problem. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next video.